Welcome to Geek Buzz. I'm Nixie Pixel here to talk about nerdy stuff that tickles my neurotransmitters, like toys that are hotter than Megan Fox was in 2007. Well. Brought to you by Jack Threats. I don't know about you, but admittingly, I am really impatient when driving, and I've always like longed for a car that would just transform at will so I could get the hell out of traffic. But I'm a quarter of a century old now, so I basically come to terms with the fact that that's never gonna happen. Then enter Japanese robotics company, which reignited all my fantasies that I can have a real life transformer in my home. This little guy is based on 22 servo motors, and he can rock it, shape shift, dance, fight, I mean, cue dramatic Transformers music. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers, robots in disguise. The Transformers, more than meets If you thought that robot was cool, brace yourself for this segment. Now, Optimus Prime said it best. He said, Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Unfortunately, some people have that freedom taken away from them. I'm speaking specifically on freedom of mobility here. I know I talked about stem cell research in past videos, but what if technology exists right now that could get a paralyzed person up and running, literally? You guys may already know of Rewalk. It's a bionic exoskeleton that helps paraplegics walk again. Now, when you think bionics, you may think of the Glee episode in 2010 where Rewalk was featured. I personally think of this. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. In all seriousness, regardless of how you identify with bionics, the creator of Rewalk, Amit Gopher, has given a 32-year-old woman her life back. That woman's name is Claire Thomas, who was paralyzed from the chest down when she got into a horseback riding accident five years ago. She was a perfect candidate for Rewalk, a motion sensor suit that detects shifts in weight to help her sit, stand, go up and down stairs, and even complete marathons. Using the exoskeleton, Claire finished the London Marathon and helped raise $125,000 for paralysis treatment research. One little side detail that just kind of got to me is that the marathon was 26 miles and Claire took 16 days to complete it, so they thought that she didn't deserve a medal because it took her so long. But honestly, you try doing that if you're paralyzed. Anyway, exciting news about the Rewalk is it's finally going to be made commercially available after five years of clinical trials, which is really encouraging. This year they're going to release it for Europe, and uh, as far as the US, I'm sure we have to wait until the FDA gets around to approving it. No rush. Speaking of rush, the sun's coming up on me here. Before I melt in the sun, I should talk to you about Microsoft's plans for selling Xbox 360s like hotcakes. Haha, <laughs> pun. They're planning on selling their 4GB Connect equipped 6 year old hardware for the low, low price of 99 bucks. If you commit to a 2 year Xbox Live Gold subscription at $15 a month. So, just to do the math, buying the console and the two-year Xbox Live subscription would cost $420 separately. With Microsoft's deal, you'd end up paying less money up front for the console, but at the end of the two years, fork over about $460, which is more money, right? I guess it's good if you're not prone to having that much cash up front, like I wasn't when I had to make rent and needed to pawn my Fender Jankstang Kurt Cobain edition. But what's really interesting about Microsoft announcing this price change is that we may be seeing a shift in how consoles are priced altogether in future generations. I mean, think of cell phones. You have this $500 phone that you want, but if you just sell your soul to Verizon for two years, that $500 phone becomes $50. 
Do you think that this payment model is going to be a trend in everything we buy and use? I mean, is that something that bothers you or are you okay with it? Oh, and people overseas, do you have to deal with this subscription contract thing like we do in the US? Let me know in a comment or video response below. Until next time, talk nerdy to you later. Ah, the sun, oh, I'm melting, melting. Now to help me pay my bills so I can invest in some curtains. If you love alternative apparel brands like American Apparel but hate wasting all your cash on them, listen up. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up brand names at prices that will melt your brain. There's a wait list to join, but if you head to jackthreads.com geekbuzz, you'll get free instant access to all the killer hookups.